All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Gediminas. And this evening, I wanted to share with you a training topic on how to make effective short videos. Over the last couple of years, uh, you couldn't have missed the rise of the now called micro content, right? The short video content that's been um, gaining more and more momentum on all the platforms. You know, now wherever you look, whether that's Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, you will see plenty of examples of short video content. So um, the world has shifted slightly from long form. Doesn't mean that nobody is watching long videos anymore. Uh, people still do that but a lot of the focus have been on the short videos so let's have a look why it's so effective why it's so useful and how you can make uh, even more effective short videos that will give you better results and earn you more money ultimately which really is the goal right uh, is to obviously be as effective as possible in your business and make as much money as you can so first of all why is it worth making short videos you know what's the point what's the use why why should you make short videos uh on your social media and there's a couple of reasons here uh one uh being that it's easier to consume you know it's a lot easier to consume a one minute video for somebody than a 15 minute minute live broadcast right if somebody's you know opening up their social media just for like few minutes uh, while they're in the queue at the shop or while they're somewhere else you know and they see a 30 minute live broadcast they might say oh you know i don't have half an hour now to watch this thing right but if they see a one minute reel or a tiktok they will go oh okay i'll watch it and sometimes it doesn't even ha have to be a minute it can be 30 seconds sometimes it can be 15 seconds right so it's very easy to consume because it's so short now it's gaining popularity and and it's always we have to sort of observe what the platforms are introducing to know what will be working and what to use. So since TikTok started gaining momentum since 2016, and especially over the last couple of years, all the other platforms have jumped on this bandwagon and Instagram introduced Reels, Facebook introduced Reels, YouTube introduced YouTube Shorts. So they all, you know, switching towards that content. And that's a sign that you should be using it. You know, if social media platforms introduce a new type of uh uh of of a uh, medium a new type of content then you should definitely be using that because that's what they usually push most you know when they introduce new features uh to the social media so and what's popular that means you'll get more views right also it's faster and easier to create you know if i told you okay after this uh training go ahead and do a half an hour training uh video on facebook or on YouTube, you might go, oh my gosh, so I need to do my research now, I need to prepare all of these topics, I need to gather all of these ideas in order for me to deliver a half an hour training video, you know, on Facebook or on YouTube. But if I told you, hey, after this training, your task is to go and make a video that is up to one minute, it can be 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute, etc. How much easier would that be? Well, that's just like, reading a quote, that's a video already, right? Or giving one tip, right? That's already a minute video, right? So it's much easier and quicker for you to create, right? Well, like um, those of you who follow me, you know that I always do Facebook Lives, right? And for the last three years, four years, I've been doing a, a one, two, sometimes three videos every single day. And, and some of those videos are five minutes, some of them 10, 15, 20 minutes, etc. But that takes time to create. But if I told you to do at least one reel or a TikTok a day, anybody can do that. Maybe what I do, also anybody can do. If, if they look serious at the business, they could definitely do one live every single day. But that's maybe more challenging. But to do a, a, a video that is up to one minute, like, isn't it too much to ask you if you seriously want to make more money in your business to do a one minute video a day? 
Well, that's that's not too much. At least I believe that's not too much to ask, right? That's definitely doable. That's definitely possible for most people. I mean, literally, as you're dropping your kids to school, you could pull out your phone and just do a video in your car. Or as you, you know, uh, about to leave home, you just pull out your video uh, phone and you do it. While you're walking your dog in a park, you pull out your phone and you do one minute video. Literally, it's so quick and easy. And of course, one of the main reasons why you should be doing it is reach reach is how many people you reach by a piece of content so it doesn't matter whether you put a picture on 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 social media you do a text uh you do a video you you do a live broadcast or you do a tiktok or a reel that piece of content will will reach a certain amount of people but all the ones that i mentioned except the tiktoks and the reels will reach only a portion of your friends list so let's say maybe you're on Facebook and maybe you have 1,000 friends and you put up a post, whether that's a picture, a video or, or a text, that post will probably reach, you know, a small portion of that 1,000 friends. Definitely not all 1,000 friends will see that post. Maybe 100 out of 1,000 will see it. Maybe two, maybe 300 out of 1,000 will see it, right? Now, the same scenario, you make a short video up to one minute and you put it on your Facebook Reels. And even though you still have your 1,000 friends, that video on Reels reaches 15,000 people or 50,000 people or 150,000 people. Is that even possible, Gideminas? Definitely. Because TikTok, Facebook, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts work on a different algorithm. Unlike all the other pieces of content that are only being showed to people who are already fr your friends or already following you, the reels and the TikToks are being shown to the entire world. Actually, most people who will see your reels and TikToks are not the people on your friends list, which means it's an amazing, fantastic, incredible way to reach huge numbers of people much easier than all the other means uh, or all the other all the other content types on social media. So if you're not using it, you're missing out massively on the people that you could be reaching. And also duplication. You know, we always say that in network marketing, it's important not what works, but it's important what duplicates, which means what can other people repeat, right? So again, if I go ahead and do a Facebook Live right? Which is amazing, right? It's very useful. It's it's very effective. But how many of my new team members do you think could do a Facebook Live when they join my team? Most people would not do that. Why? Because it's public speaking. It's out of your comfort zone. It's, uh, you know, it requires preparation. It requires some skill. And most people, unfortunately, will not start doing Facebook Lives as soon as they join your business. However, if I do a video that is up to one minute long, and then you can actually come on my video, click on the sound, and literally use my sound. You don't even need to say the thing. Like imagine I do a, a, a one minute video and in that video I go, hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips how to lose weight quicker. Number one, drink more water. Number two, um, you know, don't eat after 6 p.m. Number three, do this, that, and the other. Number five is this. And by the way, we have incredible product, which is called the Slim Body System. If you'd like to lose weight even faster, drop me a comment below and I will give you all the information. That's it. I do a video like this and I upload it onto TikTok. Now you, my team member, you can come on my TikTok, click on that video, click on the sound, and literally use my sound, and you could just be sitting there, mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and you pull out the, the, in a, the, the slim body system as well. Literally, you can use my sound, or lip sync, you know, you can just be going, and I'm actually talking in the video, like, it's 10 million times easier than it is to do like Facebook lives or whatever, right? Which again, you can do all of that, but this is just so much easier for people to duplicate. And a lot of these videos on social media doesn't require you to talk, right? Some of them are just using a trending sound. Like um, yesterday I made one of these videos. I'll see if I can uh, share my screen with you. 
so you guys can actually hear and see that video. All right, one more time. I'll just share my screen with you guys and show you a video that um, I put on, on TikTok. And then my team just went on and copied um, that video basically because it doesn't even have any talking, right? So this is the video I did, right? Right? So it's a trending sound right now. That sound is trending, which means a lot of people are using it. And a lot of people basically will see videos that use this trending sound. And all I did here, I put habits of success and habits of failure, right? Uh, in, in Lithuanian, right? But basically now anybody can come, click on this sound icon at the bottom right and use the same sound and make their own video without even talking. They can do the same move I do, or they can do something else. It doesn't even matter, right? But it's that easy for people to duplicate um, a particular video, right? On, on short videos. Okay, so let's have a look at some tips on what should you do on these short videos to make them more effective. So tip number one is a hook, right? And a hook is basically something that's gonna grab people's attention, right? So you want to grab people's attention um, when it comes when it comes to uh, short videos, because you only have a very short space of time before they scroll off, right? So you want to make sure that it's interesting, that it's um, maybe pro provocative, maybe it's controversial or whatever, right? So you could say something like, um, I don't know, let's say you have a, a shampoo, which you do, which has great natural ingredients and 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 uh, helps the hair, but you know that some of the shampoos they sell in the shops have a lot of toxic ingredients, etc. So you could make a video saying uh, with the with a headline, uh, "Does your shampoo is your shampoo uh, gonna make you bold?" Right, and now the person goes, "Oh my gosh, what what is she gonna say?" You know what, what what's it like, or is the vitamin C you using not being absorbed by your body? And then you could talk about the li liposomal um, vitamin C that we have in our company, which is super very well absorbed, right? Unlike a lot of the, the ones that we buy in the shop, right? You get what I'm saying? So you want to grab people's attention, whether with something you write or something you say at the beginning of the video or the clothes you're wearing or the colors in your video, right? But you want to make sure you stand out, right? You grab their attention because if you don't grab their attention, then it's harder uh, to get better, good results on your, on your uh, short videos, right? Number two is they say riches are in niches, right? Or money is in the niche, in niches, right? So what is your topic going to be? They say what, what, what fits everyone doesn't fit anyone, right? So you want to make sure that you focus on a particular topic and stay faithful to that topic. Because if you're going to do everything, most likely you're not going to attract anybody, right? But if you focus on a particular niche, whether that's health or that's beauty or that's personal development and business or whatever it is, you will start attracting your audience. Because when you first start doing TikToks or Reels, quite often you get a bunch of kids who follow you, a bunch of people from different countries that don't even speak your language, etc. But then if you keep posting the same around the same topic, around the same niche, over time, social media realizes that that's the niche you, you're targeting and they will get rid of all the other people and just show your uh, content to the people that it's supposed to be shown. But if you doing all sorts of topics, then the social media platform doesn't know who to show your, your content to and that's why it's harder to um, have great audience. Number three is intensity. If you want to have faster results, all you have to do is increase the intensity. So, you know, like I always talk about consistency, that it's so important to post consistently, at least once a day. But if you want to increase the speed of it, if you want to speed up the process, all you have to do is just start posting twice a day, three times a day, and you will speed up the growth of your profile, you'll speed up the growth of your audience, and you'll speed up your results. Number four is text on video. Now, even though like TikTok is all video platform, right? Or, or reels, a lot of people will watch them without the sound because they're at work or they're in a public place or whatever. 
So if you put text on your video, that will help your video to get viewed more. And also it's good for people who are hard of hearing and they can't hear, for example, so they can read the text. Number five, at the beginning of a video, share a desire or a problem that will resonate with your target audience. Right. So again, if you if you're going to talk about weight loss, maybe at the beginning you can share a bit, you know, you can hook them with a problem that people have who have, you know, um, who are overweight. Right. Or if you're going to talk about, you know, I don't know about collagen uh, or or about, you know, joints, etc., then you could talk about something about that. Right. So so you want to either re the talk about the problem and raise the curiosity with the problem or with the desire, like, you know, where would they like to be the end state, you know, the, the, the end point where they would like to be. And you start with that. Like, would you like to feel 10 years younger and not feel pain in your joints? Well, listen up then. Right. And then you, you know, talk about that desire. All right. Number six, use motion and different backgrounds, right? So you don't need to do the entire one minute video just like this, la, 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 you know, just holding your phone. You could do a sentence this way. You could do a sentence that way. You could do a sentence this way. So you can change the angle from which, like if you look at movies or uh, news programs, what do you see? Every couple of seconds, they change the angle of the camera. They change the angle of the camera to keep you engaged because otherwise it would just be super boring if, if the whole movie, the camera was just like straight at the actors, right? So that's why you can use the same thing in your um, uh, Reels and TikToks and you can use different backgrounds, right? So one video I might do in my office, another video I might do in my living room, another video I might do outside, etc. So that not all the videos would be exactly the same background. Also, be a reporter. You know, imagine that you're a reporter. Hey, guys, this is getting me in us for six o'clock news, <laughs> reporting live from this, right? So, so do the same thing for your life. Become a reporter of your life and your business, right? You, you're at the training right now. You're like, you're watching this training. You could be pulling out your phone and going, hey, guys, this evening I'm learning from this trainer from the UK about how to build my business and how to make more money on social media. You want to know more? Drop me a message, right? You're just reporting, you're documenting what's already happening in your life. Like you don't need to create stuff that often. Quite often, you just need to report. You just need to document what you've already learned, what you've already seen somewhere, right? Number eight, share solutions to their pain and how you achieved something, right? How you solved, for example, a problem or whatever, right? That will give value, right? Your Again, your TikToks or your Reels should not be all sales, like, hey, guys, here's my product, buy my product. Hey, guys, here's my business, join my business. Hey, guys, right? It should give value. It should give some tips, some useful information, some education, some advice, some inspiration, some motivation, some uh, sometimes some even entertainment, like a, a laugh, you know, or a joke or something, right? But it should always provide value to your audience if you want more and more people to follow you and share your videos. You know, like also with the same thing, share fact, statistics or evidence that support what you say, right? So again, that helps to build your authority and build your credibility and pass this message on to another person. Number 10, very, 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 very important is give a call to action at the end of your video. A lot of people make this mistake where they make really, really good videos, but then at the end of the video, they don't give an instruction what to do. Now, it may sound so super simple and crazy that like you have to tell them to message you at the end of the video, or you have to tell them to comment below, otherwise they won't comment. Are people that stupid? Are people not going to figure out by themselves what to do? Well, I'm not saying they're stupid, but their attention span is getting shorter and shorter. And the way our brain is made, it looks for the easiest path of resistance for the easiest thing to do. And the easiest thing to do is not to do anything. So if you don't give a call to action, most likely at the end of your video, the person will go next, next, and just scroll away. But if at the end of your video, you go, hey, and by the way, if you'd like to lose your weight quicker, drop me a message. Or hey, and by the way, if you would like to start earning money from your phone, drop me a comment, there's a bigger chance that they will do it. I know it sounds super simple, but when I started doing it, like saying, hey, if you like this video, please do me a massive favor and share it. More people started sharing my videos. 
When I ask them to comment, more people start commenting. When I ask them to message me, more people start messaging. Will everybody do it? Of course not. But if you give that call to action, you will get better results. And finally, number 11 is direct people somewhere, right? So you should always have the end goal in mind. Why are you doing this? Like, why are you going to do these short videos? And the answer, because Gedimina told me, is not a good answer, <laughs> right? You should have an idea of why you're doing a particular action, right? So if you're going to do these videos, you know, whether it's TikToks or Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels or YouTube Shorts, what's the point? Where is this going to? What's the purpose of this, right? So you should be growing this audience in order to direct them somewhere, in order to point them somewhere, right? And this is why... One of the things that I strongly recommend is on your uh, Facebook profile, on your Instagram profile, on your TikTok profile to add a link tree link, right? So uh, what's a link tree link? Well, link tree as, as in the name link tree, right? So it's like a tree of links. So if you, um, if I go to my uh, link tree link, it opens up and then you have all your links in there, extra income, you know, join my team, online shopping. So this is all in Lithuanian, right? But but you get the point, right? You can put all of your links. You can put a link to your Facebook group. You can put a link to your online shop. You can put a link to your registration, etc. So it's one link that contains all of your links. So then if you go to my TikTok, for example, what you'll find is on my profile, right? Oh, I've logged out. Let me go on Instagram. Right. So if you go to my profile on Instagram, for example, what you see at the top is my Linktree link. Right. So so the website you want to go to is Linktree. Right. Linktree.ee. Right? That's that's the link where you go. You set up your account. It's free of charge. It doesn't cost you anything. And then you can put your link at the top of your Facebook, of your Instagram, of your uh, TikTok, so that if somebody uh, watched the video and they liked it and they want to know more about what you do, they can click on your link and then go to where they want to go, to register into your team, to go to your online shop or whatever it is, right? So remember, you should always be pointing people somewhere, right? You should be directing people somewhere, uh, you know, from your videos. Because on your video, you could even say at the end of your video, and hey, by the way, if you'd like to buy this product, click the link in my bio. Hey, by the way, if you'd like to join my team and start earning extra income, click the link in my bio. And they can go to your bio, to your top of your profile, click on the link, and then go to where you want them to go. So that's the training for today, guys. I hope you got value from this training. And now uh, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions as well.